I'm William Teresi. It's great to have your company this Tuesday. Now, a High Court judgment has cleared the way for the Green Party to use the Waka jumping legislation to evict Darling Tana from Parliament. Now, Tana took the party to court in an attempt to stop them ousting her from Parliament after she was suspended from the party after an inquiry into migrant exploitation. She resigned from the party in July but wants to remain in Parliament as an independent MP. Now, the ordeal also saw, and of course our Pacific community is well aware of this, three Pacific members resigned from the Greens over their treatment of Tana. Darlene Tana joins us live this morning. A very good morning to you. Atamari, good morning. Hey, thanks for your time. Firstly, give us an update on what's the situation, what's going on with you and the well, and the Green Party at the moment. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, but before I start, if it's if it's okay, I'd just like to, you know, mihi tuatahi ki te rungarawa moana nei mana ki tanga ki tātou o te raki ngā huhua o te wā, haere atu, haere atu, haere atu rā, ki tātou te kānohi ora tēnā tātou. He uri tēnei nō te tai toke rau e mihi kawana ki atatau. Just wanting to acknowledge, you know, all the magnificence around us as we do as uh, tangata whenua um, this morning and acknowledging everybody here. Um, with respect to, to your question, where where does it stand between myself and the Green Party? Um, I think where it's always stood for myself, which is to to find a way to hōhau te uh, to make the peace between uh, peoples. And, and going through a judicial review uh, may have seemed a, a bit of a strange way to do that. Mm. But it was important uh, when I saw the impact, um, the cancel culture, behaviour that was happening to uh, Green Party supporters who were supporting me. Mm. Uh, I needed to uh, just call it call time, if you will, mm. uh, on um, some horrendous behaviour. Um, you know, and not, you know, to, to our, our Pacifica um, uh, tuahine observed that for themselves, but it was, you know, against Pākehā members of, of the Green Party as well. So being able to call time and just say, hey, let's just cut some nonsense, please, and let's bring this into a court of law and have a discussion. So there, in my affidavit, I put forward a proposition to hōhau te rongo to make the peace uh, yeah. with, with the Green Party. And I and I still hold that, uh, irrespective of what is happening, um, you know, tapu is breached. Mm. And, you know, te awairua, the spiritual realm, is as real for me as the end of my nose. Uh, so, you know, that peace needs to be needs to be made. And that's where I stand today, still, with the Green Party. Because of that High Court judgment, the Green Party's been pretty vague on what the next steps will be for the party. But it's looking as though, and I'm going to be blunt here, it looks <laughs> as though your political career could be coming to an end, at least... Um, in this capacity. Have you come to terms with that? Oh, look, I, I never got into politics to become a, you know, a career politician. Mm. I went in to, uh, for the kaupapa. And for me, that's very much finding, um, you know, being able to reform some legislature around uh, matters pertaining to taiao, to the moana, to the, to the whenua. So I'm not in there to... to uh, become a career politician. So mm. I don't have hang-ups about letting that go. The mahi still continues. Um, and and yes, I, I guess the Green Party are taking advice on what their next steps will be with relation to the party-hopping um, legislation, uh, as, as am I. With all that in mind, and the Green Party and the front that it's been putting on to the media over this situation, mm. it is abundantly clear that they do not want you in the party. What mm. do you make of the behaviour from the Green Party, particularly the leaders at the moment, or most, more so Chloe Swarbrick, and the handling of the situation? You know, when, when things are going really well, eh, uh, it's great, it's the best show in town. Uh, but it's when things get tough, that you you see the real momo um, of of the uh, people or the organisation, and when you know allegations started cropping up around migrant exploitation relating to my husband's business, and you know ju I, I just want to make the point that there's still allegations only even today. Mm. There's there's no proof to those things yet. All right, um, there's a process that needs to go to, but. 
you know, when allegations started and um, the decision to go into an investigation and how that panned out um, and then the result of that and then the party coming out and saying really derogatory, demeaning things about my person, uh, about my whānau, uh, that's when I thought, okay, this is this is not a crowd that I can run with even if I wanted to. Um, it's one thing to to say things like your values are all about non-violence, appropriate decision-making, that you uphold te tiriti o waitangi. But when you don't follow tiranga, is it, that you say you uphold, uh, when you're prepared to slam uh, wahine Māori, and I'm not the first, um, then you know, you've got a real problem with, within the party. And I, I had thought that after, particularly after Dr. Elizabeth Kirikere's, um horrendous departure, that we might have learnt to some as a party, but clearly the party had not. Knowing what you know now about the Green Party, do you have any regrets about joining and being an MP for the Green Party? Oh, look, I'm, I'm not one who, who lives my life by regrets. I, I think that things happen and for a reason. And I, what, I, what I know is that... But the, the treatment I of you arrived... has been shocking. Excuse me? Some would argue the treatment towards you has been shocking. It, it has been shocking. It's been incredibly violent. But I, you know, I don't dwell on that. You know, my whānau and I and our hapu, we, we, we still have real life um, issues and challenges to, to face. You know, getting a whare, um, being able to afford to put kai on the table, being able to go out into our normal pātaka, which is our moana or our awa or our whenua, to be able to get our kai. Uh, those are the real struggles. This this other stuff that's happening around um, political parties and power plays and and general demonstration of how far they have yet to journey to achieve, you know, real um, honouring of Te Tiriti or Waitangi in Aotearoa. That's 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 a that's a side um, distraction, frankly, from the real issues that all of our whānau are facing. Yeah. Here's a question, and I want to I want to dive into the what happened with the Pacific members for just a moment. Three Pacific Green members resigned from the party over the treatment of yourself. It was ultimately the last straw, they say. That I they think about the Elizabeth Kedikedi situation. What do you make of not one, not two, but three Pacific members exiting the Green Party? What does that say? I'll be very honest, it, it broke my heart to see that the mamai had had gone so far. Um, as I said, I had hoped that we'd uh, not resolve things, but that we'd learnt some things from um, Dr. Elizabeth Kedikere's departure. Um, we haven't. And, and there is still much that needs to be healed uh, within the party. Uh, following that, um, following myself too, yes, three Pacifica members and mihi atu kia, kia, kia rātou, uh, that they were three amazing, they, well, they are three amazing <laughs> um, uh, wahine who gave so much to to the political party and, um, you know, the the party, I would say, you know, the, the political leadership failed them. And, you know, they're not alone. Uh, there are many uh, members who are today still feeling that deep, deep hurt and questioning whether they will continue to be members in, in that party um, and are staying on only because they, they recognise, like I, that we need to heal this. Uh, within the party. We need to heal this for tangata tiriti uh, in as much, uh, not so much for tangata whenua. Tangata whenua is okay, but tangata tiriti need to heal this and resolve this and, and um, confront what has happened here. With all that in mind, they, the, the three particular members I'm talking about, Pacific members, also made some pretty major claims about the party, feeling culturally unsafe. It was a culturally yeah. unsafe environment. 
Is that valid? Is the Green Party a culturally unsafe place for Māori and Pacifica? Uh, there's, a, there's a massive distinction between um, what I would say the membership and the political party leadership. Um, so I want to make that distinction very, very clear. Um, things change when you go into Parliament, and that is where we see really the reversion to uh, to to colonist uh, coloniser behaviour, and there it is culturally unsafe. Um, the membership is something else. Uh, there, people live by those values, and they are on a learning journey. Uh, but it's it's clear that we need to do more. If we say we're going to uh, be nonviolent, uphold uh, te tiriti or waitangi at a at a political level, uh, then we need to start doing that. Please, um, I, I mentioned earlier, you know, when the going gets tough, then you see what really happens and. You know, it's it's it is unsafe mm. at that level. Yes. Dare I ask? Would you warn Pacific people before joining the party, knowing what you know? Oh, look! I think everybody takes their own their own, their own decisions for themselves, and you know we know that uh, any political party is but a vehicle, right? It's just, uh, and it's not the only show in town i would i would also say it like that um it's up for everybody to make those decisions for themselves whether they feel um safe whether they feel well whether they feel at home in those spaces um i think it's going to depend a lot on the leadership quite frankly uh dr elizabeth kitty kitty talked about an epic uh failure of leadership uh within the green party and from my experience um I, I will have to I will have to agree uh and so it's not um it's not something that I would uh, advise people against but it is uh, it is something that I would advise people to keep their eyes open um and their ears to the ground and and see whether it's they they feel well in that environment for themselves Chloe Swarbrick, since coming in uh, uh, over James Shaw, I want your honest opinion here. Is she right for the role of co-leader, or is it doing more harm than good? Um, for myself personally, um, she, she is an incredible uh, person, incredible. Um, but the the I don't I don't that's not a leader that I will ever follow going forward. Um, my leader is is somebody who upholds the mana, the modi, and the tapu of everyone and everything around them, and that has not been demonstrated with me. Um, so no. Um, I think we're all on that journey together and I hold sufficient compassion and understanding to Afina to help, um, to support where I can, if I can, if that's wanted. But, um, but no, uh, her leadership is, is, is not one for me that I would want to see for Aotearoa um, that, that I would ever follow. Okay. Now, just very quickly before we wrap this up, do you have confidence in the leadership as it stands when it comes to actually effectively advocating for Māori and Pacifica, knowing what we know, like I say, extraordinary claims made about party leadership? Look, I, I look instead to the leadership that we need to follow. And I see that from, you know, tangata whenua. I see that from tikanga Māori. Uh, if, if you say that you support those things, then I want to see you do it. You know, we, we have enough word salad um, in the world and we need more actions and doing. Mm. So in terms of the Green Party leadership, that's what I'd want to see is actually more, what are you doing actually for, uh, for Māori, for Pacifica? Where are you on the ground actually? doing 
for. And if uh, uh, so, that's what I would like to see for them. Mm. It looks as though, just very quickly, um, I know I've got to wrap this up and go to an ad break. It looks as though your political career is coming to an end. Have you had any thoughts yet about what you're going to do next? Oh, look, there's always mahi to be doing, and there's always the kaupapa. I mean, I was working in the moana and in the marakai and in our communities since knee-high, you know. So that work still continues. Um, So I'm not phased about that Hmm. uh, at all. So, yeah, oh, darn, go back to my kumara patch. (laughs) E pai ana tēnā mōku. Darling Tana, ex-Green MP, thank you so much for your time this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Mauri ora kia tata.